first thing we did was pour some aircraft paint stripper on top and used a brush to mix it all around. And then after this, we used a putty knife to scrape it off. After this, we power washed it and we got on to the next step. Now we're using a sand blaster to remove any of the leftover paint. Now we're getting ready to weld. So this is what it looks like now. And what we're gonna use are copper pins and we are going to weld them into the dents. This is just to rough up the surface so they stick better. And now we're welding them on, superheating them with that gun, and then using a slide hammer to pull up the dents. If you can't tell, welding makes me anxious because of how much I flinch. Now we're just sanding off anything that was left behind by the pins. At the end of the first day, we decided to paint on this uh, pr protective layer just to make sure that nothing starts to rust or anything weird starts to happen to the tank over the next week. Now I'm using Bondo to fill in the dents. We will sand this later. And the funny thing about this is the on this is the only clip we have of putting the Bondo on, but I did it about 20 or 30 times. Five weeks of doing this, and this is the only clip I have of me sanding. But yeah, we sanded almost after every layer of Bondo. We didn't just use the ruler, we used sand blocks as well. Now we're jumping ahead five weeks. Uh, we already have a layer of guide coat down, and we this is me painting the uh, main paint on, which is really exciting. It's a very dark gray with a little bit of uh, blue pearl in it, so it's nice and sparkly in the sunlight. And here is the clear coat. This was very nerve wracking because a lot of things can go wrong when you're clearing. So yeah, it all turned out really fine. Afterwards, there was a little bit of fish eyes that came up, which are just little bubbles in it. And my dad was able to save it. He just put a thick layer on top of those and everything's good. Now, originally what I wanted to do was to do a custom airbrush artwork, uh, which would have taken me a long time and it would have been freehand too. But since I only had two days to finish, I decided I was going to do a lightning bolt design instead. So I taped off three lightning bolts, two on the sides, one down the center. Okay, so now we're at the shop with my dad and uh, instead of using paper and tucking it under the tape that was already on the tank, we just decided to tape up everything else before we started to paint. So now we're cleaning it off. Um, we wiped it off, off camera too. And now we're painting. Uh, I decided to use a pearly white and the pearl is just kind of like a shiny iridescent sort of thing. And we used a blue color, which didn't end up showing up at all. So 
So now I'm just drying it off really quickly with an air gun, uh, just to make sure that we don't risk getting any extra dust in there. And now I'm feathering the paint into where we didn't get it before, trying to make sure that we got where the tape might have kind of overhung a little bit and making sure everything was how we needed it before we added a layer of clear. 